Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. My timeline on Facebook this week has been filled with these amazing pictures of hidden rainbow hair and I am so in love with them. Whilst I couldn't be bothered doing it to myself because of the maintenance, I did think how can I produce this in nails? So I spent a couple of days racking my brain and then came up with these. As always, I'm going to begin by filing and cleansing my nails. If you want to know how I look after my nails, there's a link in the top right corner now that shows how I have long, strong nails. I'm using isopropyl alcohol to do this, and full links to all the products are in the description. I'm also going to clean the underside of my nails, but you only need to do this if you're planning on painting it rainbow like me. I'm going to be using a peel off base coat but if you want to use nail vinyls to help with this look then I'd recommend using a regular base coat and that's because I found on occasions that when I use nail vinyls and peel off base coat when I pull the vinyls off it can actually take all the polish and base coat straight off my nail. Once you've applied your base coat to all your nails and allowed to dry I'm going to go in with a white and this is OPI Alpine Snow. Apply one even coat to all your nails and allow to dry. I find this method of patting the colour around the cuticle area works for me to make sure I get that really crisp cuticle line, but you do have to be quick to draw the colour over the nail to stop you from getting drying patches. If you do get any polish on the skin, just use a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone to remove. Now I'm taking some scotch tape and applying it to the back of my hand to remove some of the sticky so it doesn't affect the polish, and then I'm going to apply it diagonally across the nail and pat it down. I've done this to my other nails and I've gone in opposite directions with the diagonals. Now I'm going to take a nude like Morgan Taylor's Tan My Hide and I'm going to apply this to the base of the nail up as far as the tape. Don't worry if you do get any around the skin, again just use a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone to remove it. Now we're just going to remove that tape and there's something really therapeutic about this, unless that's just me. Now just taking a pen or a pencil, I'm going to put five marks on the nails equally spaced apart so I know where to apply my six colours. For the rainbow stripes I'm going to be using my fine detail and my striping brushes from Nail Artisan and I'm beginning with CND Vinylux in Rouge Red. Beginning with the red, I'm just going to follow that pen mark down the nail and apply a stripe down vertically and then just go across the top by where we've applied our Tan My Hide and then fill in the whole area. I'm following the colours I saw in a particular favourite picture of the hidden rainbow hair. So next will be a beautiful bright orange and this is CND Vinylux in Electric Orange. Again, we're just going to follow those pen marks we've put on the nail and do vertical stripes. I find it makes it easier to sort of do the outline first and then colour it in afterwards. Then I'm going to be applying a beautiful yellow and this is My Twin Mimi by OPI. Remember to clean out your brushes between each colour that you apply. You can either use a specific brush cleaner for this or you can use acetone or nail polish remover. I actually forgot to film me applying the green but I used all that jazz jump and jive and then when I was applying the blue I used Orly in Skinny Dip. And once you've really started with that red and the orange, it gets really quick and easy to apply it. You sort of find your flow with the work and you stop being so nervous that you're going to make a mess of the stripes. And the final colour in the rainbow I'm using is Morgan Taylor Shock Therapy. This has been on my shelf for a while now and I have been desperate to use it because it looks amazing. Now to do the underside of the nails, once they're cleansed we're going to apply our peel off base coat. And this is actually so if you want to remove this colour from under your nails it's much easier than trying to scrub it off with acetone or nail polish remover. Once your base coat is dry on the underside of all your nails I'm going to go in with a white and just apply this carefully with very little on the brush as you don't want to flood the area underneath your nails.
And now we're going to apply those colours on the underside of our nails. But when we do it on the underside of the nails, we're going to reverse the order and that's so that the colours will match up when you turn your nails over. It will make sense, I promise. And we're just going to apply all the colour stripes on the underside of the nail, matching up with where it's just been capped over the edge at the top. And be sure to remember to clean your brush in between each colour. And once you've applied the final few colours, we're going to apply our final bit of detailing to the top side of the nail. For this I'm going to be using Morgan Taylor's Little Black Dress which is my absolute favourite black polish. And using a striping brush I'm just going to apply a fine line across the top of the colours to separate the nude from the rainbow. The best way I find to use a striping brush like this is actually to push it quite well onto the nail and then pull the nail away from the brush. This helps you to get a really sharp crisp detail. Now it's time to finish off with top coat and I'm using the HK Girl top coat and we're just going to apply this very generously to the top of the nail and this is to stop the colour from underneath being dragged or smeared. And apply this to all of the nails. And then we're going to turn our nails over and apply it carefully to the underside of the nails to protect that colour. Finally we're going to apply a slick of cuticle oil and we're going to massage it in. And here's the finished look. I wanted to produce something that was just like the hidden rainbow hair but still had a nail feel to it if that at all makes sense. And I love how these geographic hidden rainbow nails turned out. Please let me know what you think and if you give them a go please be sure to tag me on social media so I can see. Thank you very much for watching. If you could give me a thumbs up that would be wonderful and please don't forget to subscribe and share me with your friends.